Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Hello, one and all. This is Lucas Lovelocks. Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 1. Let's take a look around before we hit the, uh, the dining room table. David's here so early. Mom calls him just a friend, but look at him. He's pretending he didn't just spend the night. And you never saw the condoms, Chloe. You never saw the condoms. We never saw the condoms. I've already erased it from my memory. Till you reminded me. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. That reminds me, we should read about Chloe's, uh, Chloe's father, William. Find a nickel bag for every jerk-off guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit, da shit about dad for the last couple of years. I would never have to buy a weed from Frank again. So let's say, what's the matter? Don't you want to write your dear old dad? Guess I think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever. As if a few paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi-truck. Oh, that's dark. And what the fuck am I supposed to write anyway? That he was the perfect dad? He was always fun to be around and never angry? That he treated me like an equal? That he was constantly working to make our lives better? That he could always uh, make me laugh, even when I was being a bitch? That he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy? That his BBQ grill is still rusting in the backyard? Because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me just to pretend neither of us notices it. If that's coping, then coping can go fuck itself. And then, um, I think, do we read about David and Joyce? I'm not sure if we did, so just in case we'll read it again. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know shit's been rough since dad died. Money's tight. Her job as a waitress at a diner isn't exactly glamorous. And I'm clearly not at all about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot, or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show, somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going to not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately, there's a hairy dick monster <laughs> she led into the house that's fucking everything up. David Madsen. A jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a hard on for the military. A promise to whip me into shape. Asshole. Tried to express these concerns to my mom. And every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is the kind of disease that kills its host. All right, let's proceed. I like to read that stuff. I like to try to absorb everything in the game that I can find. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Fair enough. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. David likes it. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Dad's old swear jar. They spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Yeah, they're struggling. The snow dough. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. So there's a call back right there. Or call forward. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? And the spot, of course. Down there in the fireplace. Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. I never understood Wait, that. Those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. 
There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Yes, army, this will defend. I made an ashtray when I was in grade school. I never understood why they made everyone make ashtrays. It seemed like such a strange thing, like encouraging smoking. This is just a different time. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really, from when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Oh. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Just the outline remains. That's so sad. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Something to read? Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia, and her first mate, Long Max Silver. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Can we read it? Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Things are really tough. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Job fair. Real recruiters want to meet you. Wednesday, April 21st, Arcadia Town Hall. Resume assistance, career counseling. We've got a few things to use in this conversation. Go talk to Joyce. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Okay. Well, there you go. Good conversation. Glad we talked. Oh, sorry. I missed the newspaper. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Shipyard closing. Uh, did we read about this before? The real estate developer Sean Prescott promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he will be ending operations effective immediately, a move not surprising to longtime residents of the region. Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Steve Doris Association's defined pension plan. Yeah, I think we did read about this. Michelle Kinsey Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the action as our right in recouping unrecovered losses against debts owed. John Prescott could not be reached for comment, of course. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Wildfire warning has been issued for all residents of Arcadia Bay. Fines doubled for illegal fireworks and campfires in unauthorized areas. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Tuition hike. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes says Principal Wells, uh, Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar caliber, we're simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents investing their... What is with the huge... The huge font? <laughs> with all the words cut off as a result. In their children, uh, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasized that in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year won by sophomores Stella Hill and Brooke Scott, the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. It's probably not, probably not us, based on what we saw. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Hey mom, you wanted to talk? 
Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. But, but, but we are, we are the snark. I mean, let's keep snarking it. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Gage and ring pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Let's ask about David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Okay, here's the big Are one. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? Uh, ha, ha. I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Hmm. Yeah, maybe David could help. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. Oh. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Oh. 
I'm I'm we're, we're riding this riding this train. I'm saying what I feel. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly. Chloe, and if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking I kinda for feel is bad a about that. respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I feel like Chloe would act that way. Like, it's not necessarily the way I would act, but it is the way Chloe would, would act, in my opinion. What's this button? I missed that. Oh, no, They're I saw They're already I saw, I saw supporting that. one. Thanks. She's really, she's really hurt, and it doesn't seem like, I feel like they haven't really talked about why she feels the way that she feels. Joyce and her haven't really confronted it. From Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Kind of similar to the original Life is Strange, um, where we had to pick up... Didn't we have to pick up DVDs? I think, I think we did. Or it was the book. Is that right? We've got a crow watching over us. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Ouch. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Just, it's just hard to like David. Like... Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Yay. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Uh, I think he might be. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Ouch. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? That's the uh, the camera we're gonna give Max later on. Uh oh, Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. 
Yeah, I'm, I find it hard to like David without seeing kind of like the more heroic things that he does in Life is Strange. It's just his attitude, the way he acts, it's just, it's hard, it's hard to like him. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. There's his stupid socket wrench set. <sighs> Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Socket wrench. Okay, I can talk to him too. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Wow. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Hard. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. What? Pfft. Screw you. What the f How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. What the hell is that supposed to be? Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one. But thanks. <laughs> Am I being a bit too harsh? I don't know. I feel Ready like this is... Roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear Vacation. About. Wow. Wow. Vacation. That's, that's, that really pisses me off. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? <laughs> Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? I don't think I'm smart. I just think you're stupid. Because, obviously. Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you. Got crap it. bigger than you? That is so crap. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. Ouch. You, <laughs> your mother, you're breaking her heart. Okay, leave mom out of this. Don't pretend to care. At least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is, what's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Oh, shit. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, I. It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Ooh, ow. Don't know Busted. Why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. I mean, he. Compared our grief and all of the horrible stuff we've been going through to a vacation. So fuck that guy.
country music. Dad loved this song. What a beautiful day. Guess this, we're daydreaming. This isn't right. Oh, but I don't want to wake up from this dream. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. I love seeing that smile on Chloe's face. We've got to be reminded, though, of the present, don't we? I know what a spark plug does. Jerk water. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Oh no. Oh. That's hard to take. the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. I wonder if he would have said that regardless. <laughs> but he said thanks, he would have said it in the same Hello, way. Black hell. This is gonna be interesting to see Chloe here. As a student. Good old Jeremiah Blackwell. Uh, play or something? Concert? Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Here's Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Ah, they just yeah, play. Totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking do you wanna go together tomorrow? <laughs> it's all about like what would Chloe say? And I, I always am turned to like the most who gives a shit answers. Sounds awful. He just said that. He doesn't think it's going to be good. Doesn't seem like her style at all. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too. He's totally pretending. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. He really, I think he really, he's really into us and he's just pretending. To try to get with us. Gotta Here's track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Ah, oh, that's that's cool. Uh, Nathan and tights. Can't unsee. Oh, yeah, what? How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Meh, well... At least not for now. Have a movie suggestion see Warren or Brooke. Uh, 
Not quite as well produced as the other posters. Uh, from Steph, hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, on my way. No David, we got Skip instead? Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. <laughs> yeah, you know how I roll. <laughs> He's like the opposite of David. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. You know what, though? Like, I'm immediately skeptical of this guy because Life is Strange has kind of taught me to be skeptical of, of the people that seem to be nice. But, I mean, we kind of just... Because we know what happens in the future. We know who the bad guys are, right? Although, I'm not... S I don't think he's here. At Blackwell for this game, so... Uh, well, no, he'd have to be. He'd have to be. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but... I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean... Damn right. I want to hear Pisshead. Yeah, okay. Great! I like how he's like trying to gauge our response. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. It's pretty light metal, though. Those, the looks that they're giving each other is so awkward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Really making me laugh. They need to go with some different animations, I think. Okay, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to go on for. So, what did you think? I liked it. I don't know. I feel like it's not maybe it's not hard enough for Chloe though. I gotta say really good though. I, I like this guy. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Oh, Miss Grant. I love Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you She's think of this it. hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Um. Yeah. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. <laughs> She's awesome. What kind of change do you mean? Well, 
The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Let's, uh... Hmm. Mm, what do we answer? Mm, the art supports them too. Let's cheer up. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? It's not very witty. Sadly, no. So one That's laser. Sad. Oh, we'll get our first laser then. Can I go up there? Now walk on stage. Whoops. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. I love these moments. Last night really happened? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Whoops. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm, uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space from me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I didn't do it, swear. <laughs> I can't do that. How many minor infractions <laughs> and a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Oh, we can talk our way out of it? Uh... Of course I'm going to try. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest kind to of fun. back off. I, li I like this. Actually, sir, I'm going to go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I Don't thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? 
You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity nice. to make wall references. This must be a big moment for you. <laughs> Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. He's guilty now, Article 420. Sorry, Wellesley, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation for my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Ah. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. Nice. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Sweet, we talked our way out of it again. Goody. I love cliffhangers. I, I, I kind of like that part. Just a couple of years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. <laughs> we could do it. We, I kind of feel like a superhero. And talk our way out of, out of any situation. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. What is that person? <laughs> this guy, this person has white hair, a mustache. Looks like something out of like Flash Gordon. What the, what the, hell, what the hell picture is that? I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. Baked goods is a. Uh, is... No, Chloe. Oh. Class is back the other way. Sorry, I, I forgot. I forgot. Who else do we have to talk to? Baked goods are, you know, a nice breakfast. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Deep thoughts. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades Ugh. than talk to her. I'm just thinking about that vomiting razor blades. That'd be horrible. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? I don't care about her Young Artist Award. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered a man. <laughs> It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit, <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. She's jealous of Rachel. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Sabotage your homework or walk away? Uh. E yeah, I kind of want to get revenge for some of the things she did to, to Max and everyone else, so... Whoops! I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, 
I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. Her eyes look different to that me. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? right? Like Perfect. she would buy that. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. She's just getting her name wrong on purpose now. And uranium again? I don't, I don't, I don't think she'd buy that. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? I couldn't say. Haven't haven't read it. So funny. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's funny? It is if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Interesting. Interesting. I have some interesting characters this time around. I'm glad there's there's new people to talk to, and some and some old I can ones. I tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Damn, girl, that eye looks sick. What's going on? I had a lot of issues with the uh, some of the voice acting with the like bit characters in the original Life is Strange. It seems like uh, seems like they've improved it a lot. Crazy house party. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C+. <laughs> Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY so It's thing. a house party. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Don't need to hear that. Don't need to hear that. Alright, guess I'll see you in class. Word. Peace. Oh, that, that... How many skateboards and bags does he Even have? A DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Um. Yeah. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Interesting. I didn't know Say that. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is for college, right? All right. I don't believe that actually you actually laugh. care about this. My interest in fire prevention so is immature. completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. 
I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Um, yeah. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. I don't think that's why Do we're signing it. you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Uh, you know, let's, I'm just gonna sign it. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. <laughs> of course, we're the only ones that signed it. Uh, well. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Did we just did we just make a serious mistake, everybody? Did we just get out Chloe'd by other people? Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Blade Runner, ugh. Sweet. Five bucks, So much right? sadness. Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. What do you mean? We got all the time We're in the world. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Uh, sure. I'm interested. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Nice. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction cool story bro. raise my staff to you and greet you i am elema wizard of the third circle foremost advisor to king tiberius and sworn defender of Averna. introduce your character y yeah okay uh <laughs> i'm an elf <laughs> barbarian funny. named uh Uh, we're creative. Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. 
Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Um... I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. <laughs> to your left, the raiders' Reaction. training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Mm. We're going for it. It's tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Damn right. You heard me. Let's do the boss battle. You enter the tent to I think, find I think we're done for. Warlord Holy of the shit! Of the Black Well. Sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Calamastia? What'll it be? Uh, annihilation Strike? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Uh-oh. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey? We're gonna kill him. reflex save. Oh, no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um... Legs, plural, severing oh, both feet oh, no. and ankles. <laughs> this game is awesome. <laughs> My feet? <laughs> Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, Oh, the controller's shaking. Stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Jump in front. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Seems to really care about his character. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Um, we're going for the head. I take one last swing at Durg, Durg, Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing, catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. I wonder if the what rolls are asshole. actually random. He laughs, then rips you off his sword. With a vicious jerk, you die painfully. So mean. 
I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. He's got hey, no man. feet. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. Nice. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. That's cool. I'm not so sure Chloe... Did I don't know. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. I'm not so sure Enjoy. Chloe would... Uh, would play but that was kind of an interesting interlude i gotta wrap up this episode here everybody i hope you enjoyed it i kind of i kind of knew that i wasn't doing the right thing to win that but i thought it was kind of interesting to see what kind of gruesome things they came up with this is luckless of Lock signing off for now see you on the next one and i love you all If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me.